Hey guys, welcome back to the Whiskey Dude channel. The journey continues in Scotland, and tonight I'm gonna to be reviewing a sample that was given to me by Antonio at the Whiskey Quest. I'll post him up here somewhere. He's up at the top, I'll show you who he is. He was kind enough to uh, give me a sample of Lafroig 10 year old, and um, I'm gonna review it. It's perfect for this uh, whiskey series of 2020. So uh, here goes. Um, I'm gonna give you some brief information about Lafroig. I'm gonna read you what the bottle says, even though I don't have it in front of me. I have a picture of it here on my computer, and I can kind of tell you what it says. Um, but as I mentioned, it's um, it's uh, 10 years old, and it's owned by Jim Beam, or Beam Suntory is who's the owner of this brand. And um, it's located or distilled uh, in Port Helen, Scotland. And uh, yeah, that's about all I can tell you. <laughs> but uh, let me read you what the bottle says. It says here, Lafroig, Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, 10 years old. The most rich flavor of Scotland whiskeys. That's what their claim to fame is. They think that they're the richest, best tasting uh, whiskey in Scotland. So that's something that they always say. It says here uh, they were established in 1818 and uh, it says here it was distilled on a remote island of the Isla West Coast of Scotland. Lafroig is the most richy flavor of all of the Scotch whiskey. Again, they say it again. Um, it's 43% ABV and it's um, 86 proof. So yeah, it's it's yeah, so anyhow, let's just jump into uh, the nose of it. I wrote down in my journal here uh, what it smells like and tastes like. So uh, let's have a look real quick here and see what I wrote down. Okay, let's, uh, let's look at uh, how it looks in the glass. I'll hold it up so you can see it. Get it up there nicely. It's got a nice kind of golden color. And if I spin it around a couple times, it's very uh, viscous. It has a nice viscosity to it. I can see the whiskey kind of running down the glass. It's got really nice legs. It's a thick whiskey. And uh, let's go for the nose of it real quick. Cheers. Whoo, whoo. Stuff is strong. A lot happening when you smell this whiskey. If you're not familiar with the Islas, they have a very strong aroma. This one is, uh, reminds me, if I were to guess right away, it's got a very savory smell. It's not, it doesn't smell sweet. It's, uh, I would guess it's very malty. That's uh, like a good barley malt uh, smell. Uh, also, I get kind of like a smoky char smell. And then also a little bit of a medicinal smell. So... I don't know, that's pretty much all I'm getting. Let's go in for a taste of it. Cheers to everyone. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. First thing I noticed when it touched my tongue was that it, it was a little sweet, but this, it's like sweet, sour, smoky, char. It's got that medicinal still kind of flavor, but it's, uh, but it's still kind of like savory. It's more on the savory side than sweet side. There's a lot happening. That flavor is intense and it, uh, it's very hard to actually describe what that is. Uh, the mouthfeel, it's um, it's very oily. Like I said, it's thick, so it's it feels oily in my mouth. It uh, it's creamy though. It's buttery. People say that it's buttery. They just mean it's kind of it's got a thick uh, kind of uh, feel to it. It kind of coats your mouth. Uh, there is a slight spiciness, but only initially, and then it goes away pretty quick. The finish of it is medium. Medium, I'd say just medium. It's not long. It's not that short. But my mouth is very, very coated. 
and uh, mm, it's got an interesting uh, feel to it. I don't know if it's the richest flavor I've ever tasted, but it tastes good. Uh, let's go back for another sip. Cheers. Mm. The more you drink of it, the smoother it gets. And actually, the flavors are kind of changing on me. I'm getting more now of the sweetness, a subtle sweetness, slight, slight sweetness, and a lot more of the char and the smokiness. Very smoky. But the smoky is good. Uh, the, also, it has a peat flavor, but the peat is is very subtle. It's a, it's a really dried, charry peat flavor. It's not like some of the peats that I've had. It's, it's very different. But it works. And if I had to score this whiskey, uh, first time trying it, never really cared about Jim Beam, never really cared about the Islas. Now that my palate's changing, I'd say this is a 10 out of 10. You cannot go wrong with Laphroaig. Um, the 10 year, the 15 year, any of them there, I'm sure they're probably all great. I'd buy this bottle. You know, I'm sure it's not very expensive. Probably under $50. Highly recommended. I mean, I'm honestly not surprised, really, to tell you the truth. Anything from Jim Beam and Suntory is going to be good. They don't put out bad whiskey. So, you know, I'm kind of glad that they have that backing because they've got the money to make it right. But, um, yeah, I just want to say thank you again to Antonio at the Whiskey Quest. I'll put him down in the description below with his link. Check out his channel. I'm sure he's reviewed this one. Um, he's got others that he's reviewed that I that I haven't uh, done. But uh, yeah, huge thanks to him for letting me try it. I love it. Thank you. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up to Antonio. Um, and that's my basic review. I like it. So uh, third whiskey of my Isla journey uh, is been great. Uh, I'm not really going any in any specific order through the Isla region. I'm just picking random uh, Islas that I think that I might like, and I'm gonna just review them and hope that they're they're good. Um, and I'm not gonna just say every Isla that I try is great. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. If it doesn't taste good, I'll tell you. But so far, so good. Everything's been really, really tasty, and um, I'm just super stoked that I'm able to try it. And if you're just tuning in for the first time, and you're just now watching me, might you might want to consider um, hitting the subscribe button or the bell notification because this year is just starting, and my I'm, my goal is to post only Isla style scotches for the entire year. So that's quite a bit of videos of just those style whiskeys. So might be fun to follow along, and uh, you know. Learn a little bit about some of these islas if you're just now getting into it. And if you're already subscribed to me, I appreciate you guys uh, following me, checking out my channel, um, and commenting. I love that. So thank you again to all of you. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. So uh, yeah, this review's done. Lafroy 10 is a 10 in my book. And uh, stay tuned for uh, the next isla. Anyhow, guys, cheers again. Have a wonderful night. So long.